friends good morning welcome back to another video welcome to a week in my life slash work week in my life i have an intention and whole plan for this video which you might know from the title but i'm not going to talk about it yet because i need to go to work in a little bit but i wanted to jump in say hello get the video started and start trying to do some of my creative morning habits that I will talk about later in this video. But since I have like 20, 15 to 20 minutes before I need to leave to head to work, I want to get some reading done and then I can head off to work. Yesterday was a work from home day and I actually went to a local university to borrow their scanner, which was really fun. I had a lot of fun just going to campus, walking, and to the, I went to the library on campus and also got to see the university archives, meet the archivist, just very random trip and it was very fun and spent like over two hours, I think like three hours total scanning and exporting um, a large record book from the late 1700s that we needed to get digitized. So that was really a good different kind of thing to do for my work week. Today's very typical day. I'm going into the office. Um, I'm going in at 10 and breakfast is a smoothie as always. I did get my gratitude and just morning like journaling in and now it's 8.50 and I want to leave the house at 9.15 but I need to go down and make coffee and like get out to my car and all that. So I think I'm going to try and read for about 10-15 minutes and then we could head on to work. So grab a cozy seat cozy beverage and let's start this work week while trying to cultivate my creative morning habits and routine.
Good morning, friends. It is Thursday, and it's turning into one of those days where I am so happy I have therapy tonight because it's just it's just a day where I do not, I'm trying. That is all I can say. I feel like this whole vlog has turned into a trying vlog where I'm just trying to do things that I want to do, like cultivating a creative morning routine or doing things in the morning, but it just has not turned into that, which I think is a very real and authentic way for me to show up in this space, trying to do these things, working on my goals. So thank you for being here and witnessing this and allowing me to feel comfortable to share the not so perfect, not so what I would like to show or even experience in my own life. I had this whole like kind of outline and like goal and I wrote it out for this video and for this week really and it just didn't turn out that way. I am gonna pocket that. <laughs> George is sneezing. I had this whole like plan for like what I wanted to do this week in this video and I like, wrote it all out and I think I'm just gonna pocket that for later and this is turning into I'm working towards that as an ultimate kind of video and just week but I think also I'm learning some things about setting boundaries and parameters around what I have a what I have capacity for during my work weeks and this week has just been prioritizing rest and sleeping in and that's what I've been needing and that's what I did today um, I just did not want to work today. I'm thankful I am working from home because that's helping just the the feelings of not wanting wanting to show up. But I know like once I actually get into the work, which I have my laptop, computer, you know, I got it all set up. I'm I've already actually kind of started working and I feel, you know, like I'm ready to get back into a flow with the project that I'm working on. It's just hard. It's just like with anything, it's hard to get started, 
on things. And I've also just been really burned out and stressed at work. I think I've mentioned this before in another video. Um, like a month ago, we had a big water leak at work and I feel like I'm still trying to catch up. Like this incident happened over a month ago and it took like three weeks to, like three weeks of my time really to clean up and respond. And there's so much that goes into responding to a big disaster like that. And it set me back on projects and tasks and I was so close to finishing a project, which I've showed in vlogs on here. It's like my library uh, cataloging project. I'll link some videos where I share working on that. But that's been a very long project that I've, I've been trying to finish so I can feel good about finishing something because in archives work, a lot of projects can just really go on forever or really never end, which is why it's really important to have clear milestones or just like little things to tick off that you can call done to keep up your motivation when you're just doing a lot of these projects and then another project got thrown on me in the middle of all of this like post leak um that i'm this is what i've been working on this is what i'm working on now it's what i've been working on for like the past two weeks and it's taking way longer than i anticipated and it wasn't in my plans it wasn't it just has thrown me totally off and i feel like i'm just like <sighs> i just need a vacation i keep saying that but alas that's how i feel so yeah i'm gonna dive into work because my battery is flashing it, it's about to die i need to stop rambling i do have some other work updates to share i have some exciting things happening tomorrow that i'll talk about later but for now i just need to get some work done feel better drink my coffee and we'll touch base in a bit. date time I've made some lemon tea for the afternoon which is always a go-to work from home <laughs> routine to get me through the afternoon and cranking away on a project I've actually made pretty good progress from the last time we talked this morning on the same project that I've been feeling overwhelmed on I feel a little more clear and like there's an end in sight when I went downstairs to go make my tea I completely remembered that I wanted to work on a presentation this afternoon so cheers to getting up from your desk to help your brain think of other things plus it's on my to-do list that I don't know where it is clearly I don't look at my to-do list haven't been looking at my to-do lists very recently but anywho I'm doing a talk tomorrow at my undergraduate school my alm alma mater I'm saying that right. I did a vlog on this last year where it's the same, basically the same thing where one of my old professors has invited me to speak to a public history class. Um, the same class I took when I went there and that's where I learned about different careers within the public history field and it ultimately it helped me figure out that I wanted to do archiving. So this is like my fourth, fifth, third time, I don't know. It's been many times I've been asked to speak and I've gone twice, I think, to actually speak in person. Last year I did it virtually and then this year I was invited again, which is always amazing. And I could have gone to campus, but I decided to just do it at home because life and COVID is still kind of a weird thing. 
and yeah, so I want to make some updates to the PowerPoint because, you know, things have changed in the year. There's new things I want to add. And I just talk about like what I do as an archivist, how I became an archivist, very general things that I share here on this channel. So I'll link that video so you can check that out if you have not seen it and you're interested on how that went, but pretty much same process. I want to update my PowerPoint, go over my notes and figure out what I want to talk about. And then tomorrow I'll just kind of wing it. Um, that's kind of how it is when I'm talking about myself. It's easy to kind of just have an outline of things and then I just talk. So that'll be fun. So that's happening tomorrow. So I think I'm going to transition to work on that PowerPoint. And I don't know if I'll check in later today. I think after work, I'm going to try and do some reading and just relax because the world is crazy and I just need some calm and comfort in my life. And it's gloomy out. We're supposed to get like an ice storm, freezing rain. Who knows? Winter is still pretty much a thing at this point. But that's the update, friends. Going to sip on my tea, update my PowerPoint, and I will see you later. Cheers.
officially here. Finally, it's been such a week. Yesterday, I ended up not having therapy because my therapist had um, a migraine and couldn't make the call. Totally understandable, but I was just so gutted because I was looking forward to therapy. And then I ended up not having my presentation today um, for the class because of the ice storm and there was a delay and my uh, former professor, the teacher, ended up canceling classes and I had to reschedule my talk till next week. So I ended up just working all day at my side archives gig, which I've mentioned before. I'll try and link the video where I talk about that. So that was kind of today and yeah, I'm ready to just kind of relax, try to de-stress and distract myself from everything that's going on in the world. It's been really tough few days. I know we, we're all collectively going through so much stuff, but just know friends that we're all going through, we're all going through this stuff together and it's, it's comforting for me at least to know I'm not alone in a collective sense, but it is tough like when you're trying to just go about your daily life and, and, and work and, and just doing all the things you need to do every day while all of these big things are happening in other parts of the world that are essentially out of your control. So there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear, and a lot of just sadness going on right now. So sending lots of love and hugs to everyone and take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. I need to take care of myself and finish editing this video. So with that said, friends, cheers to the week. Maybe next week I will have a better week, but who knows? So I will see you in the next video.